displacement and its related aspects part 1 learning objective to understand what displacement is to understand the problems arising due to displacement hello friends my name is Raju I live in a village near Mumbai my father works here and I study in a nearby school I have also lived in some other places due to my father's transferable job about four years ago when I lived in Pune a boy named Munna became my friend the story of displacement of Munna from his village touched my heart through his story I came to know about displacement and its effects on humans. We will learn about displacement in this video. I have been watching this boy for the past one week. He comes daily to watch the game and then leaves after the match is over. Today, I will talk to him. Hello friend, my name is Raju. What is your name? My name is Munna and I have recently come to Pune. I originally belong to a village called Mulchi. Oh, where do you live? I live a nearby slum. I live with my parents and sister. We have moved recently here. I am trying to find a small job for myself. Work! Where do you study? What does your father do? My father works with a blacksmith. I do not go to school. I love football and I am interested in playing. So, I come here to see you all. Oh, I see that you are very interested in football. But why don't you study? That's a long story. My family has faced many difficulties. Oh, it's so sad. What happened? As I told you earlier, I have come from a nearby village. It happened that the administration wanted to build a dam in my village. After many discussions, the officials asked all the families of the village to leave the village and move to another village. They gave us some money and asked us to leave our village. But what was the problem? Why did your family have to leave the village? Will the dam harm you? I have heard that we get many benefits from the dam. Government officials came quite often and spent a lot of time with the village elders. I used to attend their discussions too. What were they talking about? The officials told the village elders that the construction of the dam will bring great prosperity to the surrounding areas. It will help in storage of water, generation of electricity, in agriculture and bring in many other benefits. But why did they ask you to leave the village? They said that it was not safe to live near the dam site. To construct a reservoir, a lot of place is required and therefore they said we need to vacate the village. They said that the dam will be constructed in 10 to 11 years. After that, we can go back to our village. But at that time, they asked us to leave the village. Then, we had no choice but to leave, so we had to go to another village by bus. Oh, so you finally had to leave your village and go to another village? Yes, and we had to leave our fields as well. When we moved to another village a year ago, we had to struggle for our livelihood. The money given to us soon got over and my father had started working on someone else's land. He earned very less money. 
Were you and your sister studying in that village? No, my father did not have the money to send me and my sister to school. I used to help him a bit in his work, but the money was scarce and all four of us had to survive. We worked hard for several months. We were not happy leaving our friends, our house, our animals and our fields. In our Mulshi village, we children used to sit on the banks of the river and enjoy a lot. We missed our Mulshi village a lot. I remember listening to chirping of birds sitting on the banks and sound made by water. We used to live like one big family. Due to the displacement, almost all the families got separated. Hmm, do you know that my dad also keeps on getting transferred every other year? Transfer? Yes, movement from one place to another is called transfer. I also have to face different people, different seasons, different schools, different friends every two years. However, I have accepted it. I enjoy seeing different places in India now. You are lucky. I have not been to school for a year and two months. Then why have you come to Pune from that village? Some people from the city visited that new village. I really don't know why they came. But they met some villagers and my father was one of them. They told my father about all the good things in Pune. They told us that we should all move to Pune. There are good opportunities and we will make more money there. What happened then? We packed our bags and came to Pune. We built a small hut outside this playground. My father started looking for work. My father got a job with a blacksmith. He is paid on a daily basis. However, it is very little money. Now, I too am looking for a job because I feel responsible and want to help my family in some way. Living in this city is so expensive. Here, we also need to pay money for water. Due to the river in Mulshi village, there was no shortage of water. The river water was used for cooking, cleaning, bathing, drinking etc. And there was never a shortage of water. Yes, there is a shortage of water here. And then here, you need money for everything. If I get work, it will help my family financially and make our life a little easier. I want me and my sister to go to school. I want to work and also go to school. Hmm, you are a very intelligent boy. I am sure someone will help you. Thank you, brother. Now I have to go. You saw how Munna had to face difficulties after being displaced from his village? Have any of you been displaced? What are the other reasons for displacement? As we are discussing issues of Munna, do you know that there are many big dams in India? Our first Prime Minister, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru called these dams the temples of modern India. Can you name the famous dams of India? Can you list the benefits of dam? I will end my story here. I have lots of doubts in my mind. I will go home, discuss this with my father and get the doubts clarified. In this video, you learnt what displacement is. In the next part of